Today is August 25th, 2015, and Houston, Texas, and Baytown are about to experience, I guess, a hurricane, tropical hurricane Harvey. And as you guys can see, it's like 1 p.m. right now, and as you guys can see, the house is pretty dark and gloomy. <sighs> hey, y'all. We out here. It's looking bad. It's looking bad out there. They're talking about, uh, we got to... Tape, tape up our windows. They already uh, blocked off. They blocked off uh, the cul-de-sac. They put the tape around there. They're talking about we need to tape our windows. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Uh, moving out here, I, I can't protect you. You know, that's why I said, I mean, in California, we got earthquakes. They ain't making no earthquake. Okay. But a hurricane, I can't protect you from no hurricane. I mean, well, hopefully the windows hold up. So you guys, what we have to, what, in, in the event of a hurricane, what one must do is you have to get all your water. You know, they, they tell you to stock up on your cans. They want you to put all your uh, VIP documents, your birth certificate. Preparing, I guess. And, you know, I went to the store yesterday, got some water. And, oh, my God, you guys. When I, I mean, when I tell you I went to the store yesterday to get some water, like, I went to the first grocery store, and it was totally empty. They usually have, like, waters sitting out front like just piles of piles of piles of water sitting out front so you can grab it before you go into the store it was no water and then so i go to the water aisle and i'm like okay well maybe some water in the water aisle if it's not just sitting there okay no water in the water aisle the shelves was totally empty and then i'm looking at the line and the line is like it's like a long v all the way about to the fruit section. I've never seen a grocery store line that long or the parking lot that full. And I couldn't even get a buggy when I came into the store. So there's no water, I have no buggy. And I'm looking at people cars and only a few people got water in their buggy. Everybody else got juice and teas and things like that. So some, some to drink for when some go down, but there was no water. So I had to drive around, drove around to the uh, Kroger's on cars. No water at Kroger's. Went to Walmart. No water at Walmart. So then I'm like, okay, so what are we going to do? There's no water. But like, we already got water in the house, mind you, because we carry water. But they're talking about we need to prepare for being in the house and buckle down for at least a week and a half without electricity. So talking about being a week and a half without electricity and having water, that's not the same thing. So we really needed water. So I'm like, what the hell is we going to do? So let me see if it's storming out there right now, y'all, so y'all can see. So I'm like, what the hell is we going to do? Yeah, it's kind of raining. So like after I went to Walmart, went to Kroger's, and there was nowhere to get any water, I started thinking like, what the hell are you going to do? You got, I mean, y'all need water. So... I started thinking and then I went to the dollar store at the Dollar General and they had water but I got like the last of the water at Dollar General people was all looking at me I was like no y'all can't have none of this water don't even be looking because I mean like no and then oh and then night went to the corner store Asa went to the corner store and they had hella water at the corner stores all the big grocery stores is out of water but the corner store had water so yeah, you guys, this is what it looks like out here so far. It's really pretty light. People have been told to move their cars out of the center because the center floods. So people can't have their cars right there anymore. And these people need to move their cars. They're probably going to end up driving them up on the um, grass. But yeah, we got some tape to tape a window. We got to tape the tape the windows. We got a camp food. We got water. We got extra, extra, extra diapers. And we got uh, ready to go bags if we need to get up out of here. Because, like, people, like, the landlord was like, Are you guys staying? And then I was like, Yeah. And then she was like, All right, good luck. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Look, y'all. Like, like, all the neighbors shit just blew over here with the wind and that was just a quick little gust oh somebody right there getting some food he getting last minute food trying to get in the house yeah it's that time y'all you know. gotta be careful hey buddy how are you doing 
the other mod they are off their neighbors. And uh I guess they're trying to get ready for everything. Hey. I guess they're trying to get ready for everything and everything. Too. Damn. So right now I'm packing up um, the bags that, that I told you about that we even got to go bags. Right now I'm packing up some clothes for the children, some extra diapers for the children, even though we gotta go and take a box of diapers. Um, but yeah, I'm packing that to go bag, and then I need to do me and Ace's clothes next. So yeah, I guess I'll show you guys after I get done with all that. Better safe than sorry, right? Keep you updated. Alright y'all, so we hunkered down in the house right now, and it's not storming yet, we just playing. <laughs> well, not yet. Or it's, They say it's supposed to be at, you know, around midnight, it's 6.35, 6.26. Yeah, it's been raining off and on. Mostly rain though. Yeah, mostly rain, and a little bit of wind. For the yeah. next four days, they say it's supposed to rain for 24 hours straight. Oh yeah? That's gonna be ridiculous. No. All, all day, all night. And you know it's going to flood bad. I remember when SAP was like that, when El Nino hit. It was just raining every day. You wake up, the sky goes, you go to sleep, the sky goes raining. You wake up, how, it's raining. How long did it rain for? I forget how El Nino, long. El Nino was a big storm. How old were you? I was probably like 12, 12 or 11, somewhere around there. Yeah, it was... The water came all the way up the uh, the driveway, and then we were on a hill too. Mm. What are you gonna sack to flood like that? Sack, don't flood like that. <laughs> were you scared? Actually, I was, cause I thought we was gonna get flooded out our house. Like once we got out of our house, we're out of our house. I'm like, oh my god, our house is flooded out. Was it? Was there any water now? No, no. But I mean, if the water kept going up, yeah. that and, and 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 the hill was a steep hill. It was a steep hill. Uh-oh. But you survived because you're here today. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully uh, it, today ain't bad. I mean, or I mean, these couple next couple of days aren't bad. Well, yeah. Yeah, they said it's going to pick up tonight. I think they said it's, gonna, it's supposed to keep going for 24 hours uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow's supposed to be bad. The weekend's supposed to be super bad. The weekend. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Saturday. Yeah, tomorrow's Saturday. Oh, you guys, no basketball blog for me, you guys. I will be in because the parks will be dead and drenched and drowned out. That sucks. And if you're in Houston, Texas, or any of the surrounding areas affected by Tropical Hurricane Harvey, be careful and make sure you're prepared and you do what you need to do. You know, we got to get this out there, you know, to the masses, you know, uh, hunker down. Hunker down and protect your loved ones. Uh, all right, y'all. So uh, I guess that's it for the vlog right now. And if anything happens, we'll let y'all know. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully we got power and enough cell phone, cell phone juice to keep the show going. All right. But until next time, you guys, the show must go on. So deuces. Peace.